Christmas is just around the corner, so I decided to make this video completely Christmas themed. So let's make these two Christmas bells using ZWCAD 3D tools. If you don't have ZWCAD yet, you can get its 30 day free trial by clicking the link in the description of the video. So with that, let's get started. So let's first start with the regular bell. For that, I'll go to Home tab and I'll select this spline tool. Now I'll make the profile of this spline and I'll make sure that this is quite horizontal for the first one and then we'll trace the profile like so. And I'll press enter thrice just to exit this. Now I'll move this one here and it looks like it's just creating problem. This object snap is creating problems. I'll deactivate it. I'll also deactivate object snap tracking. Now I'll just move it here and there it is. Okay, now that's the profile. Let's make another spline in close proximity with this. Now we can offset it, but if you offset this spline, that's going to make a really complicated shape, which is difficult to sweep in 3D. And we are going to make this 3D using sweep tool. So I'll just make sure that this is made with another spline. So here's the spline. And uh, now let's just move it slightly here. And it's done. Now the next step is adding a line here. For that, I'll activate object snap and polar tracking. I'll select this endpoint and join it right about here. Also, I need to ensure that this is well beyond this so that we can trim it. Okay, just to clean it up. And also here, I'll add another line like so. Okay, let's now go to fillet and make the rounded edge here. So go to fillet, I'll type R for radius, enter, and I'll select this point and this. That's our radius value. So click here. Here, that's the fillet. Again, press enter, this point and this, and the fillet is added. We don't need this line, so we can delete it. Okay, that's round, and uh, here also it is, well, quite clear, except for this one, so I'll just trim it. So go to trim, and trim this one. Also, trim this one. Okay, now let's join it all into one unit. But before I do that, I'll go to line tool, and I'll just track this point and add a line like this. I'll show you why we have created this in a moment, but for now, this is sufficient. So select it all, type J, enter, and here is this spline. Let's make another feature. For that, I'll go to rectangle, and I'll start right about here, and I'll make this rectangle, which is, well, here, this big. Okay, so that's done. Now the next step is adding a circle. So I'll go to circle, and right about here, I'll add the circle, which is quite big, like that. Okay, so that's done. Now I'll go to line tool and I'll trace this point and uh, right about here, I'll add another line parallel to this one. Once again, this is just an axis which we can delete later. And here we need a little bit of cleanup work again. So let's go to trim tool and uh, we'll trim this part of the drawing right about here. And you know what? I'll just explode this as well. So I'll select it, type X, enter. I'll select this point and I'll move it right about here. Okay. Let's try trim again. So this, this, and this. Done. The cleanup is done. And yes, it is done. Now I'll select this line, these two lines, and this one. Type J, enter. And we have a single polyline here. So we basically have this closed segment and this one, which will convert into 3D. Let's go to solid, revolve, select this feature first, press enter. And we need to now select this one. So I'll just check it if we have everything in order here and it looks like yes we do now let's go to revolve select this enter and it is removing the object from the selection set which is not good so let's figure out the problem here so i'll just explore this entire spline set and here we have it i'll just delete this and let's just move this spline this endpoint right about here this one right about here. All right. And you know what? I'll just make it slightly like that as well. Okay. Now let's join it with two lines. So here I'll hide this feature. So select, right click, isolate, hide object. And now I'll select these two lines. Okay. And we are done. Now let's join it all again. So select it all, J, enter. We have the single spline. And let's try converting it into 3D. So solid, revolve, here is this, enter. 
and it's still removing object from selection and that's probably because of this one so i'll type x and i'll just delete these two features from here and home tab go to circle two point i'll add two point circle right here and i'll trim this so basically what i'm doing is simplifying the drawing here simplifying the geometry so that it just ends up connecting the dots and create a single one now type j enter that's a single unit and let's see if it works so revolve select this enter first point second point and enter and it worked so there we are so you just need to simplify the geometry if it doesn't work now i'll right click go to isolate and end object isolation and then i'll go to revolve select this feature enter select this point and this point and enter again and this feature was simple enough so it created it quickly i'll delete these two line and also i'll go to view and change the visual style to something like this the shaded one now we need to also add one more feature here so that feature is this i'll go to circle and i'll add this one so i'll add a circle maybe this big and uh, this should be moved right about here okay done now also i'll add another circle uh, right about here and let's go to solid sweep select this enter select this and done so we have this feature and our bell is ready let's make the second bell quickly let's go to home circle tool and i'll make the second bell right about here now for the next feature of this bell i'll add a rectangle a really very small rectangle in fact kind of like this and make a mirror image i'll select it i'll go to mirror i'll select this and i'll add it like that i'll select it go to move tool i'll move it slightly inside and i'll select it all type x and enter that's going to explode it select these two lines delete it let's go to line and also join these two quadrants now a little bit of cleanup work is required so let's go to trim trim it all and this and this let's go to fill it now and the radius so r enter and the radius should be equal to these two points select this and this select this and this and done now we'll trim this second half so go to trim trim this and select this entire geometry type j enter we have one polyline let's use revolve here so i'll go to solid revolve select this enter this point and any point here is fine and enter here is the feature but it's solid so let's make it hollow but before i do that i need to know the thickness that we should assign for this so i'll go to line and i'll make a small line and it looks like a thickness of 0.2 is just good for this so i'm going to use a 0.2 unit thickness solid shell select the solid enter and simply type 0.2 and enter again and press enter again two times to exit this command and it is now hollow from inside it's not visible but it will show up in a moment let's add more details but again before we add the details i'll add this feature so let's go to circle and i'm going to add it right about here like that i'll add another circle right about here let's go to solid and sweep select this enter select this one and we are done so that's also done now just a few stars and to add the star i'll go to polygon tool and let's make a pentagon so let's type five for number of sides and here specify the center that's this one inscribed and let's just make it this big now i'll go to line tool and let's just make the star by connecting the midpoints like that and here's the star we can delete this now and also we need to make the second feature before we clean it up so let's go to rectangle for that second feature and uh, i'll add my rectangle kind of like this i'll go to circle and i'll add a circle on top of this rectangle right about here let's add fillet so here's the fillet now the first thing is radius so type r enter and here i'll select this point and this point done now select this and this press enter this point and this point and done let's clean it up so trim and this 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 one in fact and this one should be cleaned and this 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 one and this one should be cleaned okay 
let's select it all type j enter we have two separate polylines now i'll move them so i'll select it i'll go to move tool and let's just move it right about here and it looks like the star is not where it's supposed to be so i think i should move it slightly here and also i'll just select it and i'll just align it like that okay now that's perfect let's go to move again and let's just move it right about here done now it's not visible but that's totally fine let's just select this feature and this and you know what before i do that i'll save this drawing because i've been working on it for quite some time but i've not yet saved it so on the desktop christmas bell i already have this one which i created for practicing this video but here it is the final bells now let's select this feature and this and maybe i'll also select this feature this one this one right click isolate and hide object everything is hidden now we'll select these two i'll just deactivate the grid and i'll extrude it so go to solid extrude select enter and extrude it like so okay now right click isolate and object isolation bring back everything select these two and move it back so go to move and just move these features back like that now we'll make an array of this and i'm going to select these two features and i will make array using 2d polar array not 3d so here we have this 2d polar array select it and here we have an option called axis of rotation that i'll use so type a enter and i'll select this center right about here and another one another line should actually be exactly at the top like that okay it is done now number of object is six which we don't want so i'll just change that to three okay it may look like nothing has changed but yes it has and also make sure associative option is not checked click close array and we are done now finally let's apply the subtract feature so let's go to subtract select this main bell and press enter now select all these features that we want to subtract so there we are press enter again and here it is it is hollow from inside and we have both our bells now you can make multiple copies of this if you want so that's how you can make the bells in zwcad which bell did you like the most round one or the rectangular one let me know in the comments down below also don't forget to get your copy of free 30-day trial of zwcad by clicking the link in the description of this video and let me know what you want to see in the next video take care and happy holidays